Imagine a world where your electricity bill is zero, forever. A world where energy flows into your home without wires, without fuel, without solar panels or wind turbines. This is the claim behind Maxwell Chikumbutso's generator, a device that has captured attention, sparked controversy, and ignited debate around the world. Today, we are bringing this device to a panel of American engineers and asking them one bold question. Can Maxwell's generator truly power a home? Or is it just another case of wishful thinking colliding with the harsh realities of science? The moment the generator's concept is introduced, the room changes. Some engineers lean forward with curiosity, others cross their arms, already skeptical. The claim is simple yet astonishing. A self-powered generator, running continuously, producing electricity without needing fuel or charging from an external source. To most people, that sounds like magic. To engineers, it sounds like a direct challenge to the laws of physics themselves. Before diving into the debate, let's revisit who Maxwell Chikambutso is. A Zimbabwean inventor, he has made bold claims in the past, showcasing electric cars, drones, and buses that supposedly run without conventional charging. His supporters hail him as a visionary genius. His critics argue that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and that evidence has often been missing. But today, the spotlight is on one particular invention, the home generator that allegedly runs forever. We show the engineers a demonstration video. A small, box-like unit sits on a floor connected to a home's breaker panel. Lights are on, appliances running, fans spinning, all supposedly powered by the device. No wires lead in, no fuel tank nearby, no solar panels outside. The camera pans, showing that the unit is sealed, quiet, and seemingly effortless in its work. Interesting, one engineer says, raising an eyebrow, suspicious. Another mutters, jotting down notes. The skepticism is immediate, but not dismissive. They begin listing the questions that must be answered. Where is the input energy coming from? How is it stored, if at all? What is the claimed power output, and how does it compare to real-world household demand? The discussion shifts to fundamentals. Conservation of energy, the first law of thermodynamics, states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Every known generator on Earth needs an energy source. Fuel, motion, sunlight, wind, chemical storage. Yet this device claims to bypass all of that. Either it's the biggest breakthrough in modern history, one engineer says, or it's hiding something. The group laughs lightly, but the weight of the conversation remains. They know that scientific revolutions don't come often, and when they do, they leave mountains of verifiable data behind. Next, we present the engineers with the supposed specifications. The generator allegedly produces between 5 and 10 kilowatts continuously. That's enough to run an average home comfortably. The unit is portable about the size of a large suitcase. And most importantly, it requires no fuel, no solar panels, no wind turbines, and no charging. The reactions range from raised eyebrows to outright disbelief. If this thing does what it says, one engineer remarks, it would replace every power plant in the world. Another shakes her head, saying, it's just not possible unless there's a hidden power source. The analysis dives deeper. Engineers begin sketching theoretical diagrams on whiteboards. They debate whether it could secretly be a battery, but then they recall the claim, indefinite power, not just stored energy. If it were a battery, it would need to be massive and heavy to store days or weeks of power. Yet the device looks compact, light enough to carry. So what then? Could it be drawing energy from radio frequencies, as some free energy devices in history have claimed? One engineer quickly dismisses that. There's not enough ambient radio energy in the environment to power a whole house, he explains. What you'd get from RF scavenging is microwatts, maybe milliwatts, not kilowatts. Another engineer considers magnetic fields or zero-point energy. Those are science fiction concepts, not engineering realities, she says. The panel agrees. If this device were real, it would overturn physics itself. Still, they continue the thought experiment. What if, hypothetically, it worked? One asks. The room pauses, almost amused by the possibility. 
Then humanity's energy crisis would be solved overnight. Another replies, no more coal plants, no more oil dependence, no more climate concerns about power generation. They imagine homes across America and Africa lit by compact boxes, untouched by rising utility costs. Cities running without massive infrastructure. Remote villages with power at last. No need for fuel deliveries or unstable grids. It's a utopian vision. And yet, reality anchors them back. They question why, if this device exists, it hasn't been independently tested in laboratories. Why there are no peer-reviewed papers, no engineering conferences showcasing it, no adoption by major companies. If the claims were true, governments and corporations would be scrambling to mass-produce it. Instead, it remains a whispered story, a viral video, a promise without proof. The skepticism sharpens. Extraordinary claims without extraordinary evidence are not science, one engineer says firmly. Still, they acknowledge the importance of exploring these ideas. Innovation often starts with radical dreams, after all. But dreams need validation, testing, replication. So far, Maxwell's generator has offered none of those at the level demanded by science. The engineers take a closer look at the supposed schematics. What's presented looks more like block diagrams than true technical blueprints. They notice missing details. No component specifications, no equations, no wiring diagrams that make sense. Anyone can draw a box labeled generator and write 10 kW next to it. One notes, that's not engineering, that's marketing. Another agrees. If this were real, we'd see efficiency tests, load reports, endurance trials. We'd see engineers outside his circle replicating it, improving it, validating it. None of that exists. The conversation turns to history. The engineers recall decades of so-called perpetual motion machines. In every case, the claims collapsed under scrutiny. From spinning wheels that allegedly ran forever, to magnetic motors that promised free energy, everyone failed when tested scientifically. This doesn't mean innovation is dead. They emphasize. It just means that physics is a strict gatekeeper, and physics does not bend for unverified promises. At this point, one engineer poses a thought-provoking question. Why do these claims keep resurfacing? The group reflects. The answer lies in human hope. We want to believe in free energy. We dream of a future where power is limitless, clean, and universally accessible. That dream makes us vulnerable to big claims, especially when presented by passionate inventors. The engineers nod, acknowledging that hope can sometimes cloud judgment. But they also stress that skepticism is not cynicism. It is protection against false hope and wasted resources. So where does this leave Maxwell's generator? The engineers agree. Without open demonstration, without third-party testing, without peer-reviewed evidence, it cannot be accepted as real. But that does not mean the conversation should end there. Instead, they pivot to discussing legitimate breakthroughs in home energy. Solar panels have dropped dramatically in cost over the past decade. Battery technology, from lithium-ion to emerging solid-state systems, is advancing rapidly. Small modular nuclear reactors are being explored. Fusion research is making headlines again. And new smart grids are allowing more efficient energy distribution than ever before. These are real innovations, grounded in science, already changing the way homes are powered. None are as magical as a self-powered generator, but all are credible, measurable, and verifiable. One engineer smiles and says, if you want free energy, look at the sun. Another adds, if you want innovation, look at storage and distribution. The panel agrees that the future of home energy is not about breaking physics, but about better using what we already know. So what is the final verdict? The engineers conclude that Maxwell's generator as it stands, is scientifically implausible. Until independently proven, it remains an unverified claim, a story rather than a solution. But the dream it represents is powerful. The dream of energy independence, of homes free from utility bills, of a cleaner and fairer world. That dream should inspire real innovation, real research, real breakthroughs. And so the challenge to viewers is clear. Question bold claims. Seek evidence. Support real science. 
and never stop imagining a better energy future. Because the only way to get there is through innovation grounded in truth. So we end with a question to you. What do you think? Could Maxwell's generator be the miracle the world is waiting for? Or is it just another story that fades when the spotlight of science shines on it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Join the discussion. And if you want more deep dives into technology, innovation, and the future of energy, subscribe for more. Because the journey doesn't end here. It is just beginning. As the lights dim and the engineers pack their notes, one truth remains undeniable. The dream of limitless, self-sustaining power will always capture the imagination. But dreams demand proof before they can become reality. Maxwell's generator may stand as a symbol of what could be, but science demands transparency, testing, and trust. Until then, the real breakthroughs in solar, storage, and sustainable energy will continue shaping our homes. The future belongs to those who question boldly, innovate responsibly, and believe in possibility without abandoning evidence. That is where true progress begins.